Ready in uh, three, two, one. Yo, what's good, man? What you they do? No, man. What time it is, man? Yes, Listen. sir. It's your boy Jay Vilpa, aka J Got Bars, and we are back at it again. Yes, sir. With the Miami Boys podcast, yes, man. Sir, man. You see, you already know, man. It's your boy. I ain't gonna lie. Uh-huh. Young Ken Twenty Three, man. Y'all follow yeah, yeah, yeah. me on the Instagram, man. Yes, sir. And y'all check out the business page at. Aglador Property Services LLC, man. That part, y'all that part, me, man. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Before we get into it, man, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the page, man. Yeah, that Florida this, music only, man. Yes, sir. This is the Florida music only page. Y'all make sure y'all follow us on the at Miami Boys podcast on Instagram mm-hmm. and also on the Spotify. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, dog. What else, dog? Uh, we, we, at, we, 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 we on we TikTok, everywhere, man. man. We on everywhere, all that stuff, man. man. We on all that stuff, Y'all dog. follow us at Miami Boys Podcast. Man. Yes, sir. Everywhere, Miami Boys, man. man. Make sure. Oh, it's Miami <clears throat> Boys with a Z on the TikTok. Miami Boys with an S everywhere yes. else. Um, And make sure that y'all check us out on that Florida music page, man. Yes, like, man. share, comment, subscribe. All the content is there, man. That if part, you need that to part. find us, all the content is and there. we got heat coming in, baby. Yes. Heat coming in. Hey, man, man. Y'all, check, y'all look out for them interviews, man. Yeah, we, man. We, been, we got some come, some heat coming y'all way, man. That Definitely, part. man. Shoot, man, look, so hey. Let's get it. Let's get uh, into it, man. Where we at? Man, this has been quite a... Uh, it's been a little minute since we've been on, you know. We've been Hello, doing a lot of man. interviews lately. Hey. Uh, it's been some news to, that's yeah. that's been happening, oh, wait, man. wait, 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 wait. What happened? It's episode number nine, my boy. Episode nine. Number nine, Neff. man. Leave me with yeah, Neff out there, man. Okay, man. We, yeah. we, we getting up there, man. Getting up there, man. Getting up there, man. For sure, man. for sure. No, hey, I like man. how we going with it, man. Yeah, sure. Me too, bro. Hey, man, just remember, bro. yesterday's price is not today. today's price. Mm-mm. Make sure y'all boys man. holler at us, man. Come Make on. sure y'all boys come on with come it. On. Yeah, man. Now, all artists, man, listen. We, we we're down to work with you, man. Just hit us up. Let's link. Let's link up. You feel me? Let's coordinate mm-hmm. something, and let's get these interviews going, man. We definitely want to bring you guys to the people, and we want to mm-hmm. set some light on this page as well. So that let's get part. it. Yes, sir. So yes, back sir. to you, man. What's going on? Oh man, well <clears throat> shit. I don't know if you heard uh, in Orlando, bro. Some yeah. shit, bro. Wild it out, man. Shit went off on them boys. Yo, <laughs> oh man, look, and apparently he was a a whole rapper, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I ain't gonna hold you. Everybody a rapper these days, no, kid. Dude. I think that's uh like like a stigma to put behind, like a na- or something to put behind. You know, a crime. Oh, this rapper. So it could, you know, like a clickbait almost. Yeah, yeah. Because if you yeah. hear a rapper, you're gonna think, oh shoot, let me let me click on it maybe. Because yeah. that's like what Florida it man. seems like. Yeah, right. <laughs> Florida oh, yeah. man always does something. You know what I'm saying? A Florida man caught an alligator in his right. backyard. <laughs> and you know, bro, once you see that Florida, bro, we got the craziest story. So once bro, you see Florida, what you can you literally know. put Florida man and your birthday, and there's a Florida man for every day of the year. What? I swear to God. That's crazy. I swear to God. I'm going to try that, bro. bro I'm telling you. Uh, uh, bro, look. If you put, yeah. just put Florida man and whatever, whatever day it is, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And then it's going to be a story. And it's going to be like a crazy ass story. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm going to check it out. That's I'm why my name is shit. Florida man J, bro. You feel me? <laughs> Florida <laughs> man J. Yeah, but, but, yeah. but nah, this shit though, I ain't doing no shit like this, bro. Jit is wilding, okay? Mm-hmm. So apparently, I mean, I don't know his... His government, but his uh, rap name was Tech Ray. Right. Tech Ray. Yeah, I even looked him up. Jit, Jit had some music out. For real? Jit had some music out. Yeah, bro. Uh, is it hidden? Uh, I don't know about that one. I, mean, yeah. I got I to really take a listen, you know? I ain't yeah. going to just say it's hitting and I ain't listen to the nigga shit. Man, you know listen, bro. Is that shit hitting or not? Nigga? Man, look. That's a no, bro. Uh, we got, I'm going to bump it and let you know, kid. Okay? Yeah. Um, Oh, yeah. his, I mean, look, he ain't going nowhere, man. Look, look, he feeny already, kid. Well, yeah, we're going to see, though, because I don't know, but a dom died, too. A girl died. Damn. A female. And, and she was gorgeous, man. Rest in peace to her, bro. Like, it's peace. crazy, dude. Like, I, man, look. Check this, check this clip out. One person is in custody this morning in connection to a quadruple shooting here Jr. in Orlando. Police arrested this man, 23-year-old Delray Duncan. They said the shooting all started yesterday afternoon after a group of people got into a fight at an apartment complex on Marcy Drive. One person died. We now know that person is 22-year-old Michaela Patterson. Three Rest others are still recovering. Peace, Duncan now faces attempted homicide and first-degree murder charges. The shooting is under investigation. 
So a nigga, so you mean to tell me a nigga named Del Rey? Yeah, <laughs> Del, Del Rey, Rey Duncan. Duncan mm-hmm. went and did some shit like that. This nigga yeah. sound like he came from a two parent home, like <laughs> a nigga that goes fucking hunting on on Saturday mornings and shit. Wake Man. up at fucking five in the morning to go hunting and shit. Yeah, he sound. He, I mean, he didn't look like a like necessarily a bad kid, you know. Yeah. Delray Duncan. He fucked up, Delray. You know, I mean, hopefully, you know, hopefully, bro, it's not what we, what we, what we see right here. But if it is, bro, you fucked up, homie. You can't Yo. just be shooting at random niggas. One thing I will it? say though that um apparently was an apartment complex. You know, there's more information that they yeah. didn't you know let out like Disclose, whether right, or not sure. like it was his home, it, where they were they are attacking him. Right. It looked like some ghetto shit. Like it was a bunch of jits because it was. From what I seen, it was a whole video that they had. How you know? old was this kid? Uh, like twenty one or something like that. And that that's the one. crazy part, dog. Now you, now you just throw your whole life away. Yeah. You kill an innocent girl. Yo, because you wanted to be gangster, man. Yo. He probably. Look, look, look. I'm, ba- out I'm about to look listen, this nigga man. music up, man. Yeah, jits out there, listen, man. Look, look, look. Be I'm, smart. Make smart uh, decisions because that yo. The nigga has don't a song. Don't lose your life for thirty seconds, bro. Or. The nigga minutes, got a bro. song called Five Special Ed. Your whole life. Special Ed. Op Sex. Murder Bitch. There you go, right there. Um, Sir, what was you talking about in his music? Uh, yo, shit. Check on your peoples? Is this him? I think this is him. Check on, check on your peoples. So it sounds like he was a drill rapper. Yeah. So yeah. From, from, from what I seen. So that boy's really out there drilling there. Huh? I mean, hey, living up to his words. That's not. He had to live up to his words if you're shooting out in the crowd like that. Yeah, that's, for that's, sure. That's, that's what was that's going on. That's just pure ignorance and like, yeah. Look and shit like that happens now. Uh, a whole a 22 year old girl didn't even get her Bro, to, to live her life. You know, beautiful what I mean? girl, man. Now, Crazy. now she's gone. Gone for um, a senseless, you know, rest in peace to her, man. Shit don't make no sense, bro. Be, these just get these guns and they don't know how to act, bro. Bro, yeah, they need gun training. Well, you know what I'm saying. I mean, you know, how do you that. feel? All it's right. more than that, bro. What it's, you think? It's all mental because think about it, bro. When we was his age, that, we was thinking training. about like just shooting niggas and doing all that shit. We was out here nah. trying to vibe, right? Right. right. All that shit. You feel me? Yeah. So I think it's like more so environment. Like one thing. It's like, too much testosterone. One, no, but like I think going back to the <laughs> interview with Curtis, bro, when he was yeah, like yeah, yeah. the guidance thing too. Mm-hmm. So that's like a guidance too, bro. And like yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah oh, a lot I of these kids so don't bad, really have like think about it, like generation, they bro. they role models. Like a lot of their role models are like still like not grown men for real. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like they don't yeah. really operate. And like that's why I feel like so. niggas like I feel like. Sometimes, like, some of these rappers that we see, dog, like, sometimes I feel like Kodak, sometimes I'll be like, damn, why does he keep, you know, why he got, why does he keep fucking up? Yeah, you know? yeah. It's like, yo, ain't one person around him to be like, yo, listen, you got to chill, bro. Not to That's say, true, just, but he seemed like he's one of the niggas that you can't, you feel me? He ain't trying to really be tell like, too like, much, little like, bro. He going to feel like you little bro. Little him, bro you feel him. Him. No, tr- I, Bro, I know and how that niggas feels. Niggas ain't trying to, he, niggas, some, a lot of niggas ain't trying to hear that yeah, shit. Yeah, trust me, I hate that shit. Which, well, why though, bro? I mean, I mean, because I feel like I'm smarter than everybody. You, nah, you like, can't. I, not not Every really, but I feel like. Every great person has a mentor, bro. Yeah, Every I mean. Every great person you, has you, a You can always learn from everything. You can always learn something from everybody. You know what I'm saying? But in the sense that, like, I don't necessarily feel like I'm smarter than you. But like I feel like like I I I'm pretty aware of my surroundings. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Like I'm on point. And that's, that's, so that's, you could you could be aware of surroundings, like, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But there's always somebody who lived longer than you who has that more got more experience, 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 more wisdom. Yes, bro. absolutely. So you have to take heed. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's true. That's true. It's like them trying to little boy you it's just yo i I done been i done been this i lived through this already so now i could tell you my experience a lot of niggas feel like they can't tell them nothing like you feel me just just like how like we was talking um in a couple of them other um podcasts with uh, Mm -hmm. about um gang culture in miami and shit like that you feel me like there's not really a gang culture here like there's no hierarchy like niggas ain't no like chief of command and all that bullshit like going on you feel me like I hear everybody's their own nigga. Like if you if you in the streets, like almost everybody has like their own little operation going on. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So but like, it's not really like a um, 
a, a, a whole gang thing. It'll be yeah. it's, it's kings more amongst culture. kings. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Because yeah. we just all fuck with each other. We just you just fuck with your culture. Like the Zos right. gonna fuck with the Zos. Ponyards gonna fuck with the Ponyards. Right. You know what I mean? The black I made can't go fuck with the black I made. Now, when you think about that, like so culturally speaking, like a lot of niggas don't have um. A big brother or or somebody to look at or like you know what i'm saying a, yeah. a, ro- a role model like you said earlier yeah. you know what i'm saying so that shit ends up you know what i'm saying these kids are ro- their role models are, are the rappers and yeah bro as a teacher bro like i literally don't heard them kids like argue whether or not a nigga is with the shits like or not right yeah, yeah like yeah, are yeah, you yeah. fucking serious yeah, bro like yeah. that's what y'all like our they want to know who on like, that who more on that what yeah. so you so so the yeah. biggest crash dummy gets all the clout yeah for real, and that's the that's the one because you know why? That's the person all the dumbs like, the dumbs like <laughs> the bad boys. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. That's who everybody want to be friends with. They Shit, me. cool guys. You yeah, feel me? that's true. That's true. So that's what these just want to do, and that's what they want to live up to. They want to be like that person, like yo. Why wow, this nigga so lit? You feel that's me? That's masochistic. That's yeah. That's bro, degenerate. Very, bro. Very, bro. <laughs> and it's like, yo, this generation just lost, bro. Yeah, yeah. And they, they ain't trying to like, bro. A lot of these just, just really don't want to listen, bro. Yeah, that's you nice. just take your time to listen to your elders, bro. It's gonna take you a long way. Yeah, sure. yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Doing good, man. Doing good. Go on to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know you ready. Yeah, so just so go ahead. Yeah, man. Definitely gotta just, you know, take heed to, you know, your big homies, bro, because nigga don't wanna like, you know, be in jail for like ten ten years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't end up like this kid, because that yeah. boy don't go down for a minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he going down, bro. And for and sure. it, look I mean you know, pray, I hope that everything goes well. I hope that yeah, in man. terms of like that case and everything, who is responsible gets, um, you know, aligned and everything that was supposed to happen. But right. as far as, um, you know, that time that, you know, you could possibly spend, bro, for doing some shit like that, bro, it's not worth it, bro. We just had yeah, a nigga bro. that, you know, was talking about how he did um 10 years, bro. And, you know, it's wild. Speaking of 10 yeah. years, shit, uh, do you know who cool is? Um, I mean, I didn't, I mean, I've heard, I, I definitely heard his name in the music, you feel me, whenever that boy Kodak was shot him out in the music. Yeah, you know, Free Cool. Free Cool and shit like that. And then, I mean, I never had a, knew a face to the name. Free Cool. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just, mm-hmm. right, that, yeah, That's exactly. um, the song with Wayne Frank. brother, Cool. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know what I mean? So, you know. I knew that. So, um, now I get, I finally put a face to the name now. okay okay so you know what i mean free that boy that mm-hmm. boy out here is the is backwards now okay. cool free you okay, feel okay, me okay okay then yeah it's, shout it's, out to that boy. i see that boy trying to drop music and all now okay okay yeah. okay so so who who so this is like kodak homie like apparently bro apparently i've been his dog since they was jits mm, look, like look, look look this guy up you know what i'm saying apparently okay. apparently he done bought this nigga a Bentley truck, nigga? Yeah. Wow. He stay solid, bro. You got to look out. Wow. You know he must have not snitched or something like, you know? I don't know, <laughs> bro. But shit, man. Right. Hey, that boy stayed 10 toes down. Probably, right? You know, he oh, probably kept bro. writing them letters and, you know, kept, um, you know, just kept kept the tab on him, made sure that he, he was, you know, yeah, on yeah, point. Sure, you know, bro. It, it, it really, it really, um, it's really important to, like, keep good people around you that, like, have your best interest at heart. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Absolutely. Um, too, bro. You know, like a lot of people, people that really want to see you win. They want to see you win. You know, a lot of people come and go. One thing I will say is that, like, you know, everybody's living their own life. Like I yeah. said, we're kings amongst kings, you know. So a lot of people, you know, they may not reach out to you every day or, like, might not reply to every single group message mm-hmm. or anything like that just because they have a job. They they might have kids. They might have relationships, right. things like really that. Life is really life. You know, bro. but you will know that, like, you know the 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 people that really stand beside you they're really going to yeah. hold you down man you for know sure. what i'm saying sure. um you know I, once again man you, you're one of them niggas man appreciate yeah, you know, though you know what i'm saying 
you already yeah. know, man. Because you know, I'm I'm out, I'm out here living my best life, and and a lot of people may have things to say about it, but I don't give a damn like uh, <laughs> Sweet Mickey say. You feel me? So That's I don't crazy. care. <laughs> I don't give a damn. You feel me? So <laughs> it 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 <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, was he said I'm handsome. I'm a young millionaire. That's what I'm he said. I'm a millionaire. So I ain't worried, man. To find out, to to find out, take your mm. You That's feel what me? It so is, bro. nigga ain't worried about it, bro. But, but yeah, yeah, real. But having friends that um stick beside you no matter what, and you know that know you for who you are and care about you, bro. Like they deserve that type of shit. You know what I'm for saying? Sure, bro. Like, for sure. Shit, you know, if I could afford a month, I, 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 we, we can go to the Bentley uh, dealership and we could go look at some trucks, you know? <laughs> 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 you shut know? up, <laughs> dog. It's all good, well, kid. One of these days, man, you yeah, know. When this shit drop, we finna, uh, you know, we both yeah, finna part. be pulling up in this shit like, you yeah, know? Nice you know with it, mean? you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah man. man. That boy cool free, bro. Hey man, I don't know man. We'll see what that boy got on the music. On the music tip, tip. I, I I heard him rapping a little something on the on the Instagram though. I seen yeah, a little I clip. That. You know, I we, we, we gonna too, see. Though. We gonna see. I think he might be hard if he fuck with Kodak. I ain't gonna lie, Kodak got good taste, man. And he, I feel like once you round all that shit, bro, like you're just gonna absorb it, and you're gonna, you know, what I'm saying, if you know how to fly, yeah. bro, you gonna move, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, rapping and sometimes that shit ain't for everybody, bro. That, that uh, too, look, bro. all right, man. That shit. Think they can rap, everybody bro. wants that shit to be a rapper, everybody, bro. bro. Everybody bro. want to be some type of a uh, creator nowadays. Everybody wants to be uh, notorious, bro. Everybody right. feels like they have a story to give. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that necessarily, bro. But you know, some people need. To get a job, as they say, you know what I'm saying. Uh-huh, right. <laughs> I mean, I ain't gonna lie, that nigga Charlamagne, he be talking about that shit, be like, nigga, fuck you. But right. uh, you kind of have a point, like. Nah, I mean, you know what, bro? Hey, Ross said it took ten years, bro. Yeah, he was CEO and all that. Know what I mean, so I mean, you gotta believe in yourself, but at the same time, you gotta keep it real with yourself too, though. Yeah, because you know, if it ain't working, it really ain't working, bro. Shit. You know what I mean? But if you got you know, some type of traction or whatever, you know what I mean? You just got to keep going because keep consistency going, yeah. is the key. So, yeah. it's going to work out eventually, bro. bro I I mean? At this point, eventually I done seen a lot out. of niggas, bro. bro I, um, I got a friend, man, my, my, my MILF, you feel me? She, <laughs> my, my cougar, she, she, she knows a nigga named Moonwalker. And he came out with that song, Lizzo. Bro, I'm trying to tell you that song go hard though. Yeah, it's a TikTok crazy banger, bro. Mm-hmm. You feel me? The nigga, I think he's from Miami too. You feel oh, me? For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we could bring him on a podcast hopefully one of these days. Yeah. But like, yeah, Moonwalker, bro. Like that nigga been making music forever, nigga, right. forever. And he just got his big break. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit going crazy. He out here performing this shit. It's a lot of people like that. Patience, you feel me? It's definitely consistency. But yeah. I mean, ah, you know, if you get a job, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with that ain't job, bro. That, I yo, mean, ain't nothing oh, wrong with getting the I job, bro. I got a question bro. for you, homie. Have you ever been fired? I have. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck? They, you so professional, bro. How, I do. What the fuck happened for them to fire you, kid? Like, bro. what? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That shit. Dog, I, I, it was on me. I, 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 I'm going to say that. It well, was you pull a buzz? Yeah, I did do some buzzed ass shit. I did. It wasn't no crazy ass shit, but it uh, it, it, it was buzzed, Bruh. <laughs> My dumb ass. <laughs> so I sent this email out, bro, like a mass email, bro. It yeah. was like to reschedule a meeting. And my dumb ass, um, I fucking sent that shit out with the wrong date on there, bro. Like on some like. Yo, I was already doing like five different things. Oh, the manager walks yeah. in. He's like, "Yo, um, send an email out now to." Um, Damn, but they fired you for that, bro. That was just hating on me, bro. From the jump, like, bro. but that was like it gave him the fuel to like you know look for uh, a reason because he got chewed out because of that. Because of that, oh, yeah. Okay, so he okay. got chewed out. So then after that, he was just, like, looking for a reason, bro. And one day, uh, I had called out sick or whatever. Mm-hmm. Came back. Them boys gave me the boot. KFC. 
KFC, my shit. Wow. Hey, you know what's so yeah. funny? I think KFC is only between like our friend group. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> KFC know, mean to like you know ignore somebody. Kev, like. man. Shout out to that boy Kev. Yo. Man. That nigga did um, show me that word. Yeah, Kev, yeah. He, I think he's the originator of that. You're right. Because there's a story behind that. Mm-hmm, yeah, you feel me? We got to get. But yeah, KFC, bro. They KFC you, Kev. They KFC me, bro. That shit was. Nah, that shit was a fucking. That should have do something to you mentally, dog. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna bro. hold you, bro. If you ain't really like there mentally, bro, like yo, you gonna sucks. cave in, bro. I man, like, look, that should make you feel. Bro, different, I almost bro. fucking like you. <laughs> I've been fired and I've walked out of a job. You feel <laughs> me? So the first time, um, I, I got fired. The first time, yo, and this is the first time in my life, bro. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. First, first time, time, bro. Nah, like every other job that I had, like I've been, I've only had like two, three jobs. I was, I worked at Dave and Buster's. I was a teacher. I think that was it. Did I work? Oh, I worked at a call center. That's where I got fired. There we oh, go. For real? That's where I got fired. You see, I had to remember that shit. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is what happened. Fuck this place. So long story short, <laughs> I'm at this call center in Tallahassee, right? And um, I'm in college. Well, I had just graduated college or whatever, mm-hmm. and um. It was a cool little spot. So what I used to do, I used to do Uber and shit too. Uber had just started. I was one of the first Uber drivers on this shit. Mm-hmm. So I'll do the call center in the morning, finish at like two, three o'clock, and do Uber at night. You feel right. me? So now, the call center. Um, I also was working at a, a school too. I was an assistant band director, so I was doing a couple things. Mm-hmm. But at this specific spot, bro, they would make me basically like call people, and it was like a loan place to where like. Every, like they'll get like people will put in like their information if they was trying to get money and right. then you call them and be like yo we, we we know some people that could get you some bread you feel mm. me so if everybody every person that would get a loan like they'll get the shit you feel me okay so now i'll get a little co- commission mm-hmm. so now it went from being like nine dollars an hour i'm making like damn near 20 in this shit right. bro because With i'm eating off of right. these commissions bro mm-hmm. like i'm going crazy right. on these niggas Selling bro shit. i'm going crazy mm-hmm. but like and it was like a little um a little TV that said leads, right? So that shit, that shit say like a thousand leads, nigga. I'm probably running through like 200. Like, just yo, call if you call, just call them, niggas. call them, call them, call them. And they used to be mad. They used to be like, yo, you moving too fast. I'm like, what you talking about? Like, the nigga not interested, bro. Right. Like, you want me to sit here and just stay on the phone with a motherfucker that's going to hang up on me anyway? Right. I'm like, <laughs> the fuck? Facts. So, <laughs> yeah, so, for real. You put it like that, for real, <laughs> dog. You know right, so, right. Um, and I, so like I said, I'm closing on some of these people. You feel right. me? I put them out. Um, you know, my code switch starts. Like, hey, how's it going, sir? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, would you like to get a loan today? I seen that you, uh, uh your credit score is at 630 and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I just start going, saucing them blunts, kid. Um, it is usually old people though. Mm-hmm. Hello. <laughs> like, you know what I'm right. saying? And, bro, and, people always be plotting on old people, though. That's right. fucked up, bro. Sa- bro. You could sauce no, an like, old that's person. Messed up, bro. Like, I don't know nothing about yamming, but you could sauce an old person, boy. Dad, that's so messed look, up, bro. Yeah, man. Long story. <laughs> <laughs> so long so story short, up. man. I'm saucing all these old people getting this fee, bro. I'm getting to the bread, man. My check's looking nice. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Bro, at the same time, I don't know if you remember, but I be I I, be, I draw, you feel me? Right. So I'm drawing at the same time I'm doing all this shit. They had a little of uh, of uh, what's that shit called? Uh 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 f- shit. The shit that uh uh like uh uh uh, uh to do what, what when you it? when you when you say it like uh, a prompt there we go they mm-hmm. had a prompt so they had a prompt bro a, a script. script there we go they had a script i memorized a script and i'm just drawing at work so i'm drawing at work calling 200 people a day getting to the feet mm-hmm. you feel me them them crackers is, is they don't know how i'm doing this shit okay? <laughs> 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 they don't know how I'm doing this shit. I'm going crazy. Boys, like, hold so, on, dog. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga named gotta Cameron, be doing bro. fraud, bro. This fraud. nigga Cameron, bro. He come up to me. He was like the the uh the son of the owner of the company, mm-hmm. bro. You feel me? So he was like not the CEO, but he was whatever was under that. Right. Just like yo, you gotta stop drawing, bro. You gotta like slow down and stop drawing. So I'm like, all right, whatever. <laughs> what Only draw on your breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Only draw during your break. So every time, so it be my break, I'm starting to draw. I ain't, ain't shit to do out here, so I'm just drawing. Right. You feel me? I start to draw. <laughs> just see me drawing. Yeah, see, Again, he called me in the office, right? I'm like, bro, it's my break, kid. No, nah, man, you was drawing on your ship. <laughs> yo. Then I'm like, yo, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think you picking on me. Yo, this cracker stood up on some slave master. Oh, like, I'm like, bro, yeah. what the fuck, bro? You got me fucked, fucked up. up. You got me fucked.
fucked up, nigga. All the way. You feel me? So <laughs> like, I'm down there. I'm, I was about to match his energy, about to start ripping the like computers and shit from the shit. But I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? Let me just vibe. You feel me? Yeah. So that nigga was like, you know what? Ah, uh, ah, uh, you're fired. So I'm looking at him. I was like, all right. I walked out the office. Just I probably like, like slapped some shit down on the floor. And then I went to the motherfucking um, P, uh, what was it, HR. Yeah. Ball my eyes up. Fuck no, I got no fucking money no more. God uh, damn. Uh, oh, I'm going to do, bro. Like, right. I'm going crazy. Like, yeah, bro. And what they said. Oh, uh, man. The PR lady, the white lady, she's looking at me like. They don't give a fuck. She ain't, give a, she ain't give a shit. No. She ain't give a shit, bro. No. HR, she ain't give a shit. Of course not. <laughs> what? Yeah, bro. That shit was wild, bro. Like. That shit was a crazy. Ass, yeah, bro. Man. And then, you know, it's crazy. He DM me. No, he even DM me. He went on my SoundCloud and commented on my SoundCloud and said, I'm sorry for like being an asshole. Uh, your music is actually good. I hope Man, you can have that shit, nigga. Fuck you, said, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. Man, you can have that shit, homie. Kiss what? my ass, man. Get the fuck out of here. Kiss my man. ass, bro. All right, so moving on, man. Yeah, so dude. <laughs> this is the Florida Music Only page, man. Gang. And you already know, man. We got to give a shout out to Florida Artists Only. Yes, sir. You know yes, I mean? sir. Yes, sir. So who's the artist of the day, man? Uh, the artist of the day. A uh, homegrown. Okay. Lil Haiti. East oh. side of the highway. Oh. East yeah, Way go. Santana. Gang. You feel me? That's the artist of the day, man. You feel me? Shout out that boy Nano. Nano, man. You hey. Know I mean? Nano hey. Santana, man. Rest in peace. My cousin, K Huncho. Yeah, K Huncho. You man. feel Rest me? Rest in peace, K Huncho. This nigga's too, alive, man. man. One of the best niggas to do it. You yes, feel sir. me? Yes, sir. You already know, man. You know, shout out uh, Cream Way. You know, Cream Team. Yeah, La Cream Familia, Team. You feel me? Man. Um, yeah, bro. I just, you know, that's a home, that's a home team guy, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Uh, so you know, give me, we got give me a line, give me a, cuts, give me a man. nano bar, bro. Let so me give me some nano, nano bar, bar man. Oh, Go ahead, man. Let me Look. get one. Let me get one. Go ahead. He said, he said, uh-huh. he said get him back in blood. Turn uh. my forces to some Louboutins. Uh. Uh, reach long with a bag. Get him hit by yeah. a hooligan. Uh. Do you know how it feels to lose a friend? friend? Or is it? I wish. He said, I wish I could bring time back and do this shit again. Uh. Do you know how it feels to lose a jet? Mm. That boy done lost a kid, bro. Yeah, That's one man. of the hardest things that you could ever uh, go through as oh, a human being, for bro. Sure. You for feel sure. me? So, like, I definitely, you know, condolences to the baby Absolutely and, you know what I'm saying, and brother. respect to you, bro, for doing your thing and, and, and keeping her name and face alive and doing everything that you can for the for the neighborhood, for the community. Um, oh, yeah. You've been representing, homie. Yo, definitely. You've been representing, bro. In the community, you bro. know what I'm saying? I remember, bro, I remember him as a little shorty, bro. We used yeah. to go to elementary school together. Oh, oh, bro. oh you a little heady, baby. Shit. Yeah, man, bro. Man, you know, that I went crazy, to school man. in Liberty City. What, 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 how was it like growing up with him? Um, Shit. I don't know. I, Jill was younger than me. I just oh, know okay, he was okay. a lot. <laughs> that boy was a bad ass Yo, he was bad. That boy was a bad ass Jill, bro. Yeah. I can tell you that was, dog. Yeah. And Jill was a lot shorter, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I seen this nigga again. I'm like, yeah, that nigga big. Yeah, yeah. He, man, he's pretty he tall. He's just tall, kid. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what? Him and his little brother, dog. Mm-hmm. His little brother was um, small too, bro. Yeah, Jit, yeah. Jit grew tall too, man. That's, yeah, that's dope, so man. It's, it, it, I love seeing Girl, that man, shit, bro. I love seeing them boys. You feel they me? Them boys on. got up out the hood. That's mm-hmm. what you gotta do first. You feel yes, me? sir. Get up out the hood. Go somewhere they gonna show you love. Atlanta mm-hmm. for sure they gonna show you love. Mm-hmm. Hey man, keep it moving, bro. I love the I love I love the way that boy the working. He moving, man. Definitely. Yeah, the I love it, bro. Is, keep doing your dope, thing, man. bro. You feel me? Oh, well, shoot. Uh, that yeah, camera's out. Nah, don't worry about it. Yeah, but yeah, keep keep doing your thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? We support yeah. you, bro. You feel me? Uh, we gotta get you onto the podcast, man. Definitely, bro. Gotta hey, get you onto the back, bro. <laughs> that part, that part, that yeah. part. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Um, businesses of the day, bro. Yeah, man. So I got a shout out, man. I got a shout out. Nails by Rue, man. Nails by. Yes, Roo. bro. N- underscore. Nails by Rue underscore man, yo, this, this, this dope. Listen, yeah, 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 any of that little, you know, little picture art on the nails, all that shit, no, bro. Yeah, she on that. She an art artist, bro. With okay, the nails, bro. Like, That's fire. She's sick with that shit. So definitely check her out, man. Um, hit her up, book an appointment with her. Definitely very professional. 
Um, and she'll, she'll get you right, ladies. Yeah, okay. yeah, get at her, man. For the ladies, her, man. for the ladies. For sure. For sure. Well, shoot, man. Got, man. Um, so I was um at Wawa the other day. It was actually yeah. ironically during this whole um Cash App uh when Cash App had shut down. So like when was I was this? this was a couple like a couple weeks ago, bro. Like really? it actually happened twice, but like Cash App had shut down. Well, could nobody use Cash App, bro? No, nah. like, bro. It was wild, bro. It sucked, nigga. Like damn, I missed that. <laughs> nigga, I was shit. almost stranded at the gas station, man. Nigga no. gave me free gas. You feel me? So yeah, bro, it was wild. For so real? I did that for somebody, bro. Recently, yeah, matter of yeah. fact, yeah. some dude oh, was like, like, "Yo, bro, please, dog, can you look out, bro? I need some gas, what? bro." Yeah, he literally nah. was at the pump. Like, I literally man, was trying to pay. I was I swiping, you, and the nigga was like, "What the fuck going on?" I'm like, Shh, "You tell me, nigga." I don't right. Know. You feel me? But then like. It was like Cash App was not working, so that's he just was like he just blessed me with some gas. So I was like, thank wow, you. That's love, bro. But um, when I walked out of the pump, I looked to my right and these jits had called me over. I'm like, like what's going on over here? You mm-hmm. feel me? Like what y'all got going? So they had a bunch of clothes on top of the trunk. You right. feel me? And they was selling it to niggas. You feel me? Mind you, Cash App stopped working, so they was going through it too. You feel me? Right. So. But um, their stuff was re- very, very nice, very, very put together. Um, they had a lot of three M clothing, like you know what I'm saying. Um, it was it was cool. Like their 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 Instagram is set up nice. Uh, right, they, cool, cool. you know, that's they cool. had a good inventory, good stock, and they out here in Fort Lauderdale just trapping it out, bro. Nice. You feel me? So uh, respect to them boys, the Simple Brand Company. You feel me? Absolutely. Shout out to them boys. Y'all make sure y'all follow them. Simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brand C O underscore. Man. Yes, sir. On Instagram. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Let me look, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. This is the Miami Boys podcast. Yes, sir. Back at you with episode number nine. You nine, already nine, know, nine, man. Nine, we nine. appreciate the love, man. Yes, sir. I make sure to keep you follow us on the Instagram. Mm-hmm. Follow us on the Spotify Dad and TikTok. Dad Miami Pot. Boys with a Z. You yes, feel, sir. Man. Um, follow the Florida Music Only page. This is where you find all of our content. All if you're of looking it. for any of our videos, it's on right here on the Florida Music Only page, man. Yes, sir. Hey, man, let them know they can find you, my boy. Hey, man, look, it's your boy, Jay Vilpin, aka yeah. Jay Got Bars, uh-huh. aka Florida Man Jay. If you're nasty, you feel me? Uh, Who are you, dog? You already know, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's your boy, Young Ken 23, man. Y'all follow me on yes, the sir, Instagram. Yes, sir. And y'all make sure y'all follow the business page, Aglador Property Services, LLC, mm-hmm. on the Instagram. Get at me for all your lawn care needs, man. We yes, got sir. the landscaping coming real, real soon, man. Yeah, you already man. know, man. Stay tuned, bro. We dropping some straight Yo, heat straight for heat, your man. ass. Y'all be on the lookout for the straight interviews, man. Heat Please. For man. your ass. Yes, sir. Y'all be on the lookout yes, for the sir. interviews. They coming. Yeah, man. Hey, and artists, if you're looking to get interviewed, get at us, man. Yes, We got price. y'all. We're going to get this thing going. It's not get today's us, price. Man. You know what I mean? We here at the Where You At Studios. Where too, you at? Man. Shout Don't out. Where you it. at? Shout out, yeah. Jay. Shout out, Fresh. Fresh. Yeah. You feel me? We out here, man. man. And with that being said, you. you. you.